Now a story making headlines around the world. Is this child a child or a grown woman? A Florida couple say they were duped into adopting her from Ukraine. They claim they were told she was only six years old, but then they say red flags started to pop up, leading them to believe that she was much older. On top of that, the child's adoptive father tells our Stephen Fabian she threatened to kill his family. Natalia Grace Barnett's saga has become a compelling and widely discussed true crime phenomenon. Primarily propelled into the public eye through the ID Network's gripping docuseries, The Curious Case of Natalia Grace, this narrative unfolds around Natalia, a Ukrainian girl adopted by Michael and Christine Barnett, and the ensuing legal drama that cast a long shadow over her life. News 18 has been working for answers since charges were filed earlier this month in a case that's been in the works for most of this decade. Michael and Christine Barnett are both charged with child neglect. The two are accused of adopting a Ukrainian girl with dwarfism, changing her age legally from 8 to 22 years old, putting her in a Lafayette apartment, and then leaving with the rest of the family for Canada. One of Christine's friends says that's not all true. The friend spoke to News 18 on the basis of anonymity Monday. The information is unverified by News 18. The friend says the girl had severe mental health issues when the Barnetts adopted her in 2010. According to the friend, the girl physically attacked the family and caused a, quote, traumatic adoption experience. The family believed the girl was older than they were told. The friend says the court accepted two doctor's reports saying the girl was actually an adult. The documents are unverified. In the spring of 2010, Michael and Christine Barnett undertook the adoption of Natalia Grace, initially under the belief that she was six years old. However, as the next two years unfolded, behavioral issues and reservations about Natalia's physical appearance prompted the Barnetts to reassess her age. Age, ultimately leading them to conclude that she was an adult suffering from a severe form of dwarfism known as spondylopiphyseal dysplasia congenita. This revelation, contrary to their initial understanding, reshaped the entire narrative surrounding Natalia's adoption, with the Barnetts asserting that their adoptive daughter was, in reality, an adult. This belief was grounded in their observation of its physical characteristics and behavior, attributing her diminutive stature to the specific form of dwarfism. Accusations leveled by the Barnetts against Natalia paint a troubling picture of alleged threats and attempts to cause harm to the family. Among these accusations are claims that Natalia attempted to poison Christine Barnett and even dragged her toward an electric fence. These alarming allegations form the basis for the Barnett's pursuit of a legal change in Natalia's age, driven by their perception of her as a potential threat to their family's safety. And just explain um, the frightening things that you woke up to and the things that she began to do. Oh my goodness. Yes, absolutely. So after that day, when we had the play date with another girl with the exact same kind of dwarfism that Natalia had, and supposedly at the exact same age, you knew immediately these two people were nowhere near the same level of maturity. And then when the Ukrainian woman began speaking to Natalia in what was supposed to be her native language, which Natalia has never had an accent her entire life, she got very angry and very upset and began to lash out. The, the first steps were smaller. Uh, she would put thumbtacks face up on our stairs. So when we would walk up and down stairs, we would be stepping on thumbtacks. Certain things would start to become missing in the home. We would find knives under her bed. And then after a short time, uh, there was a moment when I woke up in the middle of the night and Natalia was standing over my bed uh, with a knife in her hand, very blank look on her face, and she's just standing there with a knife. Beyond the specter of violence, the Barnetts labeled Natalia as a sociopath and a con artist, insinuating deliberate deception regarding her age and intentions to manipulate those around her. In 2012, they took the extraordinary step of petitioning the Marion County Probate Court to alter Natalia's birth year from 2003 to 1989, thereby officially classifying her as an adult. The subsequent move to Canada in 2013 left Natalia behind in a rented apartment in Lafayette, Indiana. After the girl's age was legally changed, the friend said the Barnetts helped the girl get housing in Lafayette. The friend says the girl was supposedly living on her own under the care of doctors. However, affidavits filed by the Tippecanoe County prosecutor say differently, raising more questions than answers. Prosecutors determined the Barnetts abandoned the girl in Lafayette in 2013. Court documents cite two doctor's reports where they say the girl's age was about 8 years old in 2010 and 11 years old in 2012. A 60 Minutes report documented the successes of the Barnett's son Jacob, a physics prodigy. 
The family moved to Canada for the boy to continue his education. The report even appears to show the girl. Natalia's response to these grave accusations have been a staunch denial of any wrongdoing. Firmly maintaining that she was a child at the time of adoption and refuting claims of posing a threat to the Barnett family. The legal proceedings stemming from those accusations have been intricate and protracted, resulting in charges of neglect against the Barnetts. The repercussions of these actions have been profound, significantly impacting Natalia's legal standing, personal relationships, and public perception. Throughout these challenges, Natalia has consistently shared her side of the story, determined to assert her innocence and advocate for herself. Natalia's own perspective on her ordeal takes a cinematic turn as she draws parallels between her experience and the plot of the movie Orphan. She points out that uncanny similarities, a Ukrainian or Russian girl, the orphan, narrative and sensational elements like standing at the end of the bed with a knife, underscoring her desire to reveal the truth of her experience, a chance she feels she never had. The legal proceedings which unfolded in 2019 saw both Christine and Michael facing criminal charges, including neglect of a dependent, neglect causing bodily injury, and endangering a dependent's life. However, the complexity of the case heightened due to the disparity between Natalia's legal and alleged biological age at the time of abandonment. 24 years old versus 10 years old. In February 2022, four neglect charges were dismissed based on the statute of limitations. Prosecutors decided to press ahead with the remaining neglect charges focusing on Natalia's disability. Michael was eventually cleared of all four neglect charges on October 27, 2022, while the charges against Christine were dismissed in March of 2023. It's a story that captured the world's attention. A girl named Natalia claiming that her adoptive parents here in Indiana abandoned her in an apartment in in Lafayette. She took her story to Dr. Phil and in time both parents were charged with neglect. Part of the issue was whether or not she was a minor or if she was an adult. Now a jury found that the father Michael Barnett was not guilty. That verdict came down just in recent weeks and today and only on 13 Barnett talks since the verdict and he shares his feelings about Natalia today. As an adopted father did you ever love her? Yes, absolutely I did. And do you love her now? <sighs> no. So my question is this, if she, if you thought she was one age, but she turned out to be the other, but you loved her, mm -hmm. then why did her age matter? If I think my son is 14, but I later find out he's 24, yeah. he's still my son and Absolutely, I still love positively, him. You, sh you still do, but if that was the one and only little breadcrumb or nugget, absolutely positively. But when you realize that just simply the age being different or incorrect is just the tip of the iceberg, but it ain't the age that would cause somebody to lose love with somebody, as you so eloquently said, that's not why I would say I don't love her today. It's been 10 years since we were together and there was a lot of things that again, Unfortunately, due to the gag order I can't talk about, that would have caused feelings to change. Public reaction to Natalia's case have been varied, with some siding with the Barnett's claims of Natalia posing as an adult, while others sympathize with her, viewing her as a victim of her adoptive parents' actions. The release of the docuseries, The Curious Case of Natalia Grace and Natalia Speak, has reignited public interest and debate surrounding the case. In the aftermath of these challenges, Natalia has managed to forge ahead, currently residing with her new guardians, Bishop Antoine and Cynthia Manns. She has shared her side of the story through the docuseries, The Curious Case of Natalia Grace, Natalia Speaks. Despite her resilience, the allegations in the ensuing legal battle have undoubtedly left an indelible mark on Natalia Grace Barnett's life, underscoring the complexity and lasting consequences of this high-profile true crime narrative.